all right guys what is up my friends what is up youtube everybody guys right here i got the thermal take 3.0 ultimate and what am i doing guys well i'm i am going to change the fans and i want to see if i get any gain in performance and what i mean by that is i want to see if i get better temperatures so right here guys i'm going to open up ada 64 and i'm going to run my stability test which is going to get the CPU at 100% maximum, so you know that it's going to increase the temperatures. Now, this right here, guys, doesn't represent uh, daily gaming or daily use. This right here, I am stress testing the CPU, and I want to see the performance of the fans and whatnot. So right here, guys, I am idling around 32. It stays between 29 and 32, 33 on daily use with the stock fans. And I want to see, like I said, I want to see if I get any better temperatures when I change the fans to the Bardar fans, the 120 millimeters and uh, 2200 RPM. So guys, right here you can see I am opening up different tabs and whatnot. And I'm going to run my stability test, like I said. And after this right here, guys, I want you guys to be witness. After this right here, I want to remove the fans and I'm going to install the other fans and I'm going to run the stability test one more time I'm going to run the idle temperatures to see if there is any gain in performance to see if it's worth for me to you know put $20 fans in here so pretty much $60 and all right guys you can see right here my temperatures the cores and whatnot you can also see the cooling fans it's staying around 1040 rpm so guys, like I said, one of my friends told me, you know what, once you pass 240 millimeters a fan with an all-in-one cooling kit, pretty much it's a waste of money. So I really want to see, you know, having the high performance fans at higher RPM. I want to see if, um, like I said, I want to see if that is true. Then I also want to see if there's any gain in performance. So guys, let's not wait any longer. Let's go. they would do how they could hurt you and how i know now you're stuck stuck in the middle it's time to go so press down your pedal girl let me show you to down the drapes uncover them now and all their hate now you're stuck stuck with them people dishonorable so press down your pedal girl Alright, so here we are guys and now we are seeing the idle temperatures with the new fans and it seems like we are a little bit higher so I want to check so I went and checked my fans and it seems like the bias setting using the same settings it's setting these um, fans at lower rpm so that's pretty shitty you can see right here my idle temperatures I am seeing around 35 36 but it's going up to 47 so that's not cool uh, right here we're seeing you know the cooling fans as well that's what we're focusing right now the fans and the temperatures all right so uh it's time to run the stability test and check those temperatures these fans right here are supposed to spin up to 2200 rpm and they're staying on the 1200 so that's that's not cool what am I seeing right here guys, it, and you guys are being witness as well, you guys can go back in the video. I am seeing the same temperatures. Now the other fans, they were spinning at a thousand RPM. These ones are at 1200 RPM. So you can see right here 1200. And we are getting the same temperatures. Now these fans are supposed to be high performance. So what is the deal in here? Well, these fans right here, guys, 
it's not the problem. The problem is the all-in-one water cooling kit. So take a look at that. We are having the same, same, same temperatures as the other ones. So what I went ahead and did is I changed the fans, the fan speed. I changed them from the location. So what I did, I changed. I unplug all the fans from the CPU splitter and I plug them directly to the motherboard. I set them all up at full speed. So I want to make sure they are at full speed on the BIOS before I go to Windows again and run the stability test. There's a monitor. So let's go ahead and check the RPM. I'm still idling at 34 with higher RPM. Take a look at that CPU fan speed to 22,000. The water pump speed, it's at 1800, like I said before. And the assist fan, 2000 RPM. As you can see right here, guys, I connected the fans on the assist fan headers and they're running at full speed. Right now, you can see right there, you can see the fans at full speed. Let's see if we're gonna have lower temperatures. All right, here are the fans. Now, we are back at the stability test. Let me check my cooling fans. The RPM is at 2000, like it says. My cooling fans are at 2000 RPM. They never reach 2200. But anyway, so we're close. And we are seeing nearly the same performance. What a disappointment, huh? So it's a worth it. It's a worth for you to put expensive fans on your radiator in an all-in-one water cooling loop. It's not it's not worth it. <laughs> Don't waste your money. Take a look in here, take a look at my cooling fans, take a look at the voltages, take a look at all of that good stuff. And right now we have, we got the higher RPM, like we got the, the RPM up to the maximum on these high performance fans. Guys, thanks for taking a look at my video. If you have something to say about this here, please hit the like down below. It's kind of crazy, huh? Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Guys, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, share the video. I love you guys.